Alright, so apparently Finesse two times had a show in East St. Louis last night after the car show. Uh I don't really know the specifics what happened. I like I don't know if he saw something going on in the crowd and or or if it was an incident specifically involving him. I don't know what the incident was. It's some footage I'ma let y'all see it, but I don't know the details. <laughs> Apparently, he ended the show. After whatever happened, he ended his show. He left. They say he had only did like two songs or something, but when, whenever whatever happened, happened, he left. Uh, I want to say, man, it ain't no East St. Louis versus Memphis shit or East St. Louis versus Finesse two times or East St. Louis of, against Houston or East St. Louis against Mob Ties. It ain't no shit like that going on. You know what I mean? I don't really know what the specifics is, but I do know that it ain't no shit like that going on. I want to put that out there, be clear about that. But uh, a lot of people upset because they feel like he should have just kept on doing his show. On the other hand, you got some people who like, man, Finesse just came home. Hey, his jail time was for an incident like that, so... It probably wouldn't have served in his best interest for him to engage in whatever was about to happen or whatever was happening. On the flip side, people mad that they spent their money for tickets and they didn't get a show. What would you have done? What do y'all think? That's what the purpose of this blog is or this vlog, however you put it, is. What would y'all have done? What would y'all, you know, if you was in finesse shoes, what would you do? Would you have continued doing your show and risk whatever happened and happened? Or would you have done what he done and shut the show down and got out of there? Y'all know how this go. East ain't known for, you know, so keep that in mind too when you giving your opinion about this situation. You know, I want to know what y'all would have did, but I also want to hear it from a realistic perspective. Like you and you in you in a city that's known for for that, like it's, you know, one of the most treacherous cities in the in in the country. So, keep all of that in mind when y'all giving y'all opinions on this situation. But I definitely want to hear y'all opinion on this situation. What you would have done? Would you have continued your continued your show, and risked something possibly happening, or would you just canceled and got your people up out of there? And whatever show your crowd got, that's the show they got. Let me know some though. Tap in. Make sure y'all like, subscribe to the channel. We got a lot of shit on the way. Stay tuned, man. Subscribe to the channel. Go check out Alden by Byron Blake. Go check out Black Bar, man. I got to get used to doing this on these videos. I'll be just talking to y'all. They say half don't do that shit. They gon' black ball you out the industry. Bitch, I do the black and I been balling. That ain't shit to me. Don't give a fuck what said he say he from. They slime you mention me. All these niggas green, dressed in colors like a Christmas tree. All these niggas copycatting me, right? Be with all that smoke till I pop out. Them niggas be quiet. Behind that Sox gang, they know I'ma let that heat ride. But if we being real, bitch, I am the east side. Yeah. They've been trying to jack my mold for a minute. I've been laid back. Know this shit come with death for the fears. Can't evade that. Know about that price that's on my head. I done paid that. Play them lifting arms like a neighbor getting waved at. Heard you niggas rat, so ain't no cheese where they braid at. What's the chance a nigga bugged on me and ain't get sprayed at? You can put your house up on them numbers. I won't shade that. Don't usually fuck with rappers. I'm like, bitch, you could've saved that.